Okay, so here we have a rather pot-bound sensitive area. As you can see, it has actually broken the fairly cheap plastic pot that we have it in. There are three methods of propagation for the sensitive area. You can take um, offsets, you can do leaf cuttings, and you can also get it from seed. Seed is pretty hard because it doesn't produce a lot of seed. And very, if you don't have one that flowers in your home, then you're not going to get any seeds. That typically is because it's not getting enough light or fertilizer. So the most common way and the easiest way uh, of propagating the sensitive area is an offset. This very conveniently is an offset. So you would just go in and cut off from the mother plant. You have an inch and a half, two inches of stem plus or root and then the stem. Then you would leave this out for about two days. Just leave it out laying on the, on the side, not in direct sun. And then after a couple of days, you would put this into some uh, media. And this one can be a regular soil mix, mix 50% with a sandy loam or sand, if you wish. Depends on what you want to pr you prefer. It should be very well draining and should never stay waterlogged for very long. Uh, a lot of the uh, commercial nurseries, they will use 50% sphagnum peat and sand. So it, there are many different variables out there. You can look at many different videos on what people recommend. The most important thing to remember, it has to be free draining and never sits. So clay soil, digging soil out of the garden and putting this guy in, not going to have a very happy sense of area after that. So when it comes to repotting, well, let's do the, we'll do the cuttings first. So if you were wanting to take a leaf cutting, you take any leaf, you take the leaf like this, and what I would recommend is you put arrows on the stem before you can do any more cuts. So an arrow pointing up and then every two inches you take a cutting like this. So now I don't know which is up or down, but I do know which is up on this one, but you've got the arrow on there. So, you know, this is up and then you bury this immediately in soil, soilless mix about 50%, around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and you can put them within half an inch of each other. It will take two to four months for this to root. So be very patient and treat it the same way that you would with a potted plant. You water it, you keep it, you get it nice and moist and then you let it dry out before you're applying any more moisture. It's not like a tropical plant that you have to keep it moist and wet all the time. You must let it dry out in between uh, waterings. And then the third method is with seed. We do have a flower on this one, but it has not yet produced any seeds. But uh, if you were and you take the seeds off, dry them out for two months on a, just leave them on the counter or on top of the fridge or whatever. And then uh, you should be able to germinate the seed uh, from there. That's a whole new ball game and that one different video. Um, and then as far as repotting is concerned, as you can see, we have lots of offsets. Each one of these would make a very suitable cutting. So you find where the root was, you can snap it off and you've immediately got a plant. You don't have to cut the top off. You let this sit for a couple of days, like I said, and then you plant it into the soil and you're good to go. You'll have a sense of area that will take about three years to get to be like this. All right. And as far as dividing it is concerned, if we wanted to be really ruthless, we just get a knife and we just cut this right down in the middle. We'll lose one or two leaves on the very periphery of the existing root ball, but for the majority of it will survive. And then you just repot it into the same size container it came out of. So preferably one that doesn't break as easily. And there you go.